The National Social Security Fund boasts of a whooping 18 trillion shillings. There are about 2 million Ugandans currently saving with NSSF, and about 700,000 of these are active members. The fund was established in 1985. Government wants more Ugandans to start saving with the fund, as this will help them after they retire and have no alternative source of income or become less productive due to old age. The Minister for Gender, Labor and Social Development, Betty Amongi, says Ugandans working abroad have expressed willingness to save with NSSF because the laws of the countries where they work do not allow them to save money within the system. And so, if they are able to be supported under voluntary saving, then they will be able to save that money under NSSF, and when they come back, they have their saving. The NSSF voluntary saving arrangement came into place after President Museveni signed the bipartisan bill into an act in February this year. Amongi says she will soon conclude the statutory instrument on voluntary saving, which allows all categories of people, both in the formal and informal sectors, to save. Those in the Juakali, the private sector, corporate entities. We even go into the communities because there are people in the communities, skilled, trained, have nothing to do. They just need a little help and they'll begin saving with the fund. Earlier this year, NSSF experienced internal challenges around the contract of former managing director Richard Biarugaba and the mismanagement of savers funds. But the managers say this did not affect the performance of the fund. By December 2022, we were behind budget by 51 billion shillings. In January, we collected around 48 billion shillings. From that point on, there is intensive scrutiny, there's intensive investigation, there's intensive noise around the fund. But for some reason, the members continue to trust us with their money. January 148 billion, and it went on one up each month after that. By June, we collected 192 billion shillings in June, the highest we have ever collected in any month. I therefore want to applaud the management team who kept the ship sailing in the waves, achieving highly during this tough time. This performance has seen the fund increase the interest rate for the financial year 2022-2023 to 10% from 9% in the previous financial year. NSSF hopes to boost its capital to at least 50 trillion shillings in 10 years, but says this can only be possible if more people save with it. Daniel Kibet, NTV Tonight.